a scooter travels in the positive x direction on a straight and level road. For the first 5 seconds of its motion, the average velocity of the scooter is given. Velocity average is equal to 6.2 meter per second. How far does the scooter travel in 5 seconds? Una nating alamin muna dito is yung mga given values tsaka yung hinahanap. So hinahanap natin dito is yung average velocity. Given siya sa formula na is equal to change in displacement divided by change in time. So alam natin na ang velocity ay distance over time or displacement over time. Pwede rin natin sabihin na ang formula niya ay ito, delta x over delta t. Change in displacement or pwede rin sabihin natin na delta d yan over delta t. So ang hinahanap natin ay ang displacement. So ito ay cross multiply natin. So magiging delta x velocity average times delta t. Given ang average velocity na 6.2 meter per second, multiply natin sa time na 5 seconds, cancel yung seconds, meters na lang matitira. Sagot natin dito ay 31 meters. Ang ibig sabihin natin nitong average velocity natin, pwede tayong sa displacement kasi pwede tayong maging positive tsaka negative. So, depende sa in natin. in kasi natin na ang positive x, yun yung positive na direction. Kung baga sa direction pa, naka-east. So, kung nag-west tayo, tapos yung assume natin is east yung positive, magni-negative yung displacement natin or yung average velocity. Ganun lang siya. Next problem, a seabird was taken away from its nest, flown 5,100 kilometers away and released. The bird found its way back to its nest 14 days after release. If we place the origin at the nest and extend the positive x-axis to the release point, what was the bird's average velocity in meters per second? For the return flight, tsaka yung letter B, for the whole episode, so ito yung from leaving the nest to returning. So dito sobrang haba ng problem, no? pero kapag din-drawing natin to one by one, so mas madali na lang to. Una, meron tayo dito sa initial point. Tapos, flown 5,100 kilometers. So, siguro sinaka ito sa aeroplano. Sabihin natin, ito yung 5,100 kilometers. Dito sa point na to, ni-release siya. Ibig sabihin, pinakawalan siya. Tapos, the bird found its way back to its nest. Ito yung nest. Dinala siya dito sa point na to, pinakawalan. Tapos, ito yung origin, ito yung release point. So, nakabalik siya 14 days. Nakabalik siya dito. Pinakawalan dito, syempre bumalik siya. Lumipad siya pabalik dito. Kukunin natin yung average velocity niya in meters per second. Nakakilometers tayo, tapos nakadays. So, una, gawin muna natin, convert natin yung kilometer. 5,100 kilometers. Multiply natin siya sa 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Cancel kilometers. 5,100,000 meters. Tapos, yung 14 days, multiply natin siya. 1 day is 24 hours times 1 hour ay 60 minutes. Uh, 1 minute, 60 seconds. Cancel yung minutes, hour, day. So, seconds na lang matitira. Sagot natin dito ay uh, 1,209,600 seconds. Tapos, average velocity na kagad yung kukunin natin. So, letter A, ito yung Delta X over Delta T, 5,100,000 over 1,209,600 seconds to meters. Sagot natin ay 4.22 meters per second. Pero, displacement natin ay pabalik eh. Tapos, in natin na ang positive X axis, ito, positive X axis to. So, kapag pabalik siya, sabihin magni-negative na tayo. So ang sagot nito ay negative pabalik eh. So ang displacement may ano siya may kalakip siya na direction. So ito yung sagot natin sa letter A, negative ibig sabihin pabalik sa origin. Dito siya galing pabalik. Kasi return flight sa letter B naman tayo. Whole episode from leaving the nest to returning. So ang una natin na distance is 5100 kilometers. Siyempre, ang pabalik ay 5,100 kilometers. Big sabihin lang yan, 
x2 minus x1 is 0. So, ang delta x natin, for the whole episode to, itong delta x ay equal siya sa 0. Yun yung average velocity niya sa lahat. Kasi una, ito, papunta dito sa release point. Pabalik, release point naman papuntang nest. So, magka-cancel out lang siya. Kaya 0 yung uh, change in displacement natin sa lahat. So, sa from leaving the nest to returning. Next problem natin, you normally drive between Alabang and Tanawan, Batangas at an average speed of 90 km per hour and the trip takes 1 hour and 30 minutes. On Friday afternoon, however, heavy traffic slows you down and you drive the same distance and an average speed of only 75 km per hour. How much longer does the trip take? Pwede natin din sa uh, i-sketch from Alabang papuntang Tanawan Ito yung sa Alabang. Papunta kang Tanawan. Ang average speed mo daw dyan ay 90 km sa una. So, yung normal na biyahe mo dyan. Tapos, the trip takes 1 hour and 30 minutes. Ibig sabihin, 1.5 hours lang. Or, 1 hour 60 minutes plus 30 minutes. Uh, 90 minutes, tama? 90 minutes lang to, binyahe mo. Pero, nung Friday afternoon, pa ka, uh, heavy traffic. So, same lang din to yung distance niya pero ang average speed mo na ay 65 kilometers na bumagal ka na how much longer does the trip take? big sabihin kunin lang natin yung distance nito tapos pag compare natin yung time na tinravel nito versus sa time na tinravel nito tapos minus natin parehas yun na yung ano yung difference ng trip so first solve muna natin yung ano from delta x ay velocity average times delta t Para makuha yung distance na to. Kasi hindi pa binigay yung distance. So, 90 kilometers multiply by per hour eh. So, ibig sabihin 1.5 hours. Cancel yung hour. So, kilometers na lang. Matitira. Sagot nito ay 135 kilometers. Ang time niya is delta T. Uh, ano lang natin to? Formula transformation to. Delta T is delta X over velocity average. So, 135 divided by, ano ang velocity nito? Kukunin kasi natin kung kung ano time niya tin travel to. Meron na tayong time tin travel nito, 90 minutes. Ito naman, so 65 kilometers per hour. So, dito ay 2.08 hours. Pag kinonvert natin siya sa minutes, 1 hour ay 60 minutes. Cancel yung hour. Sagot dito ay 124 0.8 minutes so, mas matagal tam mas mabagal yung takbo kasi may traffic dito so ang difference nila yun na yung sagot natin 124.8 minus 90 minutes sagot natin ay 34.8 minutes tumagal siya ng almost 35 minutes next problem natin starting from a pillar you run 300 meters east so in assume natin positive x direction at an average speed of 4.5 meter per second and then run 250 meter west speed of 4 meters per second to a post. Calculate your average speed from pillar to post and your average velocity from pillar to post. So dito, drawing ulit natin. Ito yung starting point mo, pillar to 300 meters east. Bumalik ka, 250. From dito, papunta dito, 250 na yon west calculate your average speed from pillar to post yung letter b naman is yung average velocity from pillar to post anong pinagkaiba nila yung average velocity from starting point up to final displacement ito lang yun yung letter b na tinatanong so ang time natin delta x over average velocity distance natin ay 300 meters divided by 4.5 meters per second. Ang time na tinravel niya dyan ay 66.67 seconds. Ito ay ano, ang direction niya ay dito, papunta dito, ibig sabihin eastward. Tapos yung pabalik dito, from post papunta dito, 250 over 4. 4 meters per second yung velocity niya. Dagat dito ay 62.5 seconds. Ito naman ay westward. Di pala, ang post pala is ito. Pumunta ka dito, 300 meters, tapos iba yung average speed mo, bumalik ka. Ang average speed natin is yung total distance over total time. 
total distance natin ay 300 plus 250 over 66.67 plus 62.5 seconds. So, kung gano'n mo siya katagal tinravel, sagot natin dito ay 4.26 meter per second. So, letter B naman, average velocity from pillar to post. Change in the uh, displacement over change in time. 300 minus 250 over, yung time natin ay ito, yung total pa rin, 66.67 plus 62.5. Sagot natin ay 0.39 meters per second. Eastward pa rin siya dito, papunta dito. Positive. Pero kung lumagpas na to, dito, if nandito na siya, ibig sabihin magni-negative tayo dito. The next problem natin, starting from the front door of your Bai Kubo house, you walk 65 meters due east to the beach, turn around and then walk 45 meters west to a bench where you sit and watch the sunset. It takes you 30 seconds to walk from house to the beach and then 35 seconds to walk from beach to bench. For the entire trip from the front door to the bench, what are your average velocity and average speed? Dito, pwede natin sketch ulit. Ito yung front door. Pumunta ka ng beach. 65 meters. Tapos, due east. So, papunta dito. Papunta doon. To the right. Tapos, from dito, bumalik ka dito. 45 meters naman daw yon. Ito naman ang bench. Dito ka umupo. Tapos, nanood ka ng sunset. So, ang unang tanong, for the entire trip, what are your average velocity? Alamin muna natin yung delta x or yung delta distance. So, 65, ito yon, Ito yung change ng distance nila. Average velocity yung hinahanap natin. 65 minus 45, 20. Positive 20 siya kasi east. Tapos, delta t naman natin ay yung total time. 30 plus 35 seconds ay 65 seconds. So, average velocity ay 20 meters over 65 seconds. So, ito yon. Ibig sabihin lang niya, ang tawag din dyan ay magnitude magnitude of the displacement vector displacement sya ang kaiba kasi yung distance ang distance is yung total distance so average velocity na hanap so displacement yung hanapin natin so ito ang sagot nito ay 0.308 meter per second tapos letter B average speed naman ang average speed ay total distance over total time dito ay ilan yon 65 plus 45 over 65 seconds. Sagot ay 1.69 meters per second. Ito yung average speed. Average velocity. Average speed. Last problem natin. A bus travels in a straight line along a road. The bus distance x from a stop sign is given as function of time t by the equation x of t is equal to alpha t squared minus beta t cubed where alpha is equal to 1.5 meter per second squared and beta is equal to 0.05 meters per second cube. Calculate the average velocity of the for each time interval. Letter A is t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 2 seconds tapos letter B time is 0 to time 4 seconds tsaka letter C time 2 seconds to time 4 seconds so hanapin natin dito yung function na yan if t is 0 so x of 0 0 yung t so ibig sabihin ito 0 na to time is 2 uh, seconds substitute lang natin ang alpha is 1.5 meters per second times 2 squared minus beta ay 0.05 times 2 cube. Sagot nito ay 5.6 meters. Tapos, if time is 4 seconds naman, nagiging ganyan siya. Sagot nito ay 20.8 meters. So, hanapin na natin yung average velocity, letter A, sa time 0 to 2 seconds. So, average velocity niya ay delta x over delta t. 
Ang distance ng ano ay 5.6 at 2 seconds minus 0 kasi 0 second ito yung distance niya at 0 second. Tapos ang time niya ay 2 seconds minus 0. Sagot natin ay positive 2.8 meters per second. So letter B naman time 0 to time 4 seconds. So, ganun pa din. Delta X over delta T. Ang distance ng 4 seconds ay 20.8 minus 0 over 4 minus 0. Kasi 4 seconds minus 0. Sagot natin ay positive 5.2 meters per second. Letter C. Average velocity. Ganun ulit. From 4 seconds to 2 seconds na. So, 20.8 meters minus yung sa 2 seconds na 5.6 meters. Tapos 4 seconds minus 2 seconds. Tagot nito ay positive 7.6 meters per second. Ganun lang siya. Sana naintindihan siya.